Mike Jeff could get live at the poolside of the Intercontinental Hotel. You know, at the end of the day, it's good to see Cord and Jubilee smiling because there's not very much to smile about out there. And out there, they are hammering each other. But it's good to see Kabando Kabando and Jacoya Medewa. At least they're smiling at some issues. There is hope. In fact, it brings me to one of your tweets. David K. Rono, you say, Tell me, Diwo, every challenge is but a passing shadow. Support Jubilee for now, despite the challenges, for Kenyans' sake. Yeah, yeah and that is exactly what we are talking. We are saying instead of making noise at, uh, at each other uh, on both sides, why can't we discuss the future of this country? We, we, we were happy, and the people of Kenya have hope in the new constitution. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but I think the honors to implement is on all of us. So don't exclude us. Uh, we, we, we have no qualms. The Jubilee is the government, and we, we, whether they came in through the window, they are the government of the day. We have to respect that. We have accepted. Sure. Well, and we don't want half of it. We don't want a quarter. We don't want an inch of it. In fact, the guy, gentleman saying we want to go in government does not even have a slice of it. Uh, at least us, we had a half. Mm -hmm. So, But we, we are happy with our half. Mm. So, so, so uh, I want to assure Rono, we mean well. Yeah. We, we are not seeking to bring down the government. Okay. All we are saying is to move forward. But I wanted to say... Yes. Ne ne Nehemiah, yes. who was a clerk in Nyeri, in Nyeri, has told Kabando the real reason why IEBC must go. Has told him why. I mean, I mean, this is just a patriotic Kenyan from Nyeri. He was a clerk. He said it didn't happen well. But the IEBC gave Kenyans assurances. You know, if I am going to support them, I need to be, even if I'm defeated, I need to have confidence in the votes that I get. We want uh, the, the Kenyans to know that IBC decides who leads this country. And IBC must be those individuals that Kenyans have confidence in. If uh, IBC yeah. had ruled court, had won, what would you be saying? If they were wrong, if, if they... If, I would still be seeking to correct it for the, for the future. What we are doing now, Jeff, it's not for Uhuru or Raila or Jacoy or Kabando. We must look at the future of our great-great-grandchildren. And I think we have a duty. We are not even doing it for free. We are doing it on taxpayers' uh, money. Mm. And, and so I think we have a duty to keep improving the system. I, am, I have said many times, I am happy to be here, to watch what is happening, to be part of this process. But we want this process not to always be acrimonious. We want it to be, and I think uh, UK, my friend, can also meet us halfway. I mean, I think it's a spite when you tell us you will give us tea. We, we don't want tea. We want to talk to you. We want to tell you. For example, he asked, what is wrong with security? Why is there so much insecurity? Number one, there's structural problem. The structural problem, which is obvious. Number two, the provincial administration must be reformed as per the wishes of the constitution to accord with the county governments. Number three, we want the president to stop careless talk. When you tell tourists that Wazungu waende, si waende, you know, when you do that, mm -hmm. and they, these are people who have come here out of choice, it, it gives us a very bad image as a country. The economy. This economy will grind to a halt if we don't do something about rampant, uh, runaway corruption. It is too rampant, it is runaway, and I think we have a duty, all of us, to do it. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we have a duty to reform the judiciary and the police. You know, when the constitution was passed, I did not think that you were going to round a few judges and send them home. I thought we were beginning anew so that a judge knows this, are, this is what our expectation under the new constitution. The police, don't send them home, retrain. We said then that the first IG under the new constitution should have been somebody from the Commonwealth a professional policeman from Scotland Yard, from uh, Canada, from Ghana, to come and rewrite police training manuals. That is where the problem is. It is not the individuals. Okay. <coughs> well, um, I agree with the Jacoyo fully that we need to engage positively and constructively. That is the responsibility of government and opposition. <coughs> Therefore, the opposition is expected to be constructive. Um, I would uh, enumerate the successes of the Jubilee government one year on. But I'm sure that will not be the subject
for discussion because what we need to do now is to interrogate our failure. Mm -hmm. Because you're also interested as a jubilee. I am in one arm with the Jakoyo. That should be understood. I'm not in the executive. I serve in parliamentary committees where we serve with code members. Some of those committees, at least the two PAF committees, Public Investment Committee and the Public Accounts, Accounts Committee, are chaired by the court coalition. And I want to thank uh, Jakoyo because it's a very good uh, uh, fight for that. However, we must understand the distinction between the legislature and the executive. I have a similar obligation and duty as Jacoyo Midiwa and his court colleagues to criticize and to interrogate the executive. And we periodically do that. I also have a moral obligation and political duty to support the government mm -hmm. of the day on areas that it needs to succeed. Now, mm -hmm. you see, can it be repeated and perhaps concluded that we are over the 2013 March 4th elections? and that we are duly elected members of government serving in the various parliaments and also as governors and deputy governors and therefore we have a constitutional mandate to do serve that. What will become a big problem and it remains so now at least for court coalition mm. is their preoccupation and with, 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 with the, some external mm. capacities to resolve our domestic issues. Speaking of preoccupation. When, when, you, when you talk about, uh, let me finish this one, mm -hmm. Jeff. When you say that you are thinking was that a Kenyan, a Kenyan will not lead an independent national police service. You expected a Muzugu to come here and become the chief of police. 50 years after independence shows that you are either a comprehender bujoa or you are a surrogate of new colonialism. I think we need to cleanse that mentality. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Except these post hearings, after the ruling of last year by the Supreme Court, unanimous decision, the presidential candidate of court declared his congratulations to the president. And a few days later, together with the reanimate, they went to State House and had an exclusive meeting with the President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto. And they said, This is a garment, and the same day, they Raida traveled to, 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 to Western Kenya for a barrio, and in a barrio ceremony, he said, we are ready as the opposition to serve in our capacities as the opposition. And the public should approve of the current status of court coalition mm -hmm. as a respected opposition. Okay, let me ask you real quick, because yes. we're running out of time. Okay, yes. uh, speaking of challenging the executive, yes. your colleague in the House, Linturi, yes. was, the, I guess the executive or you all, yes. you believe, you pleaded with him to drop his motion to impeach CS for devolution yes. and Waiguro. Yes. He has refused. He stood up to the president and said, I have refused. Let me tell you. What does that mean? What does that tell let you? me tell you. Members of parliament are independent individuals, constitutionally protected as legislators to oversight, represent and legislate. However, consensus, as Jacob Medio knows very well, and I want to, to again say, in a, on a positive tone, that is a good one, is a, one of the best legislators we have on the floor of the House. That's my question. Now, I'm answering the question. That moderation is important for management of state affairs and even parliamentary affairs. Today, you want to go and uh, impeach Anu Igoro. You know, the process of impeachment or cabinet secretaries is provided for in the Constitution. And while a public petition brought by a member of parliament is an agreeable format. We would be doing parliament a lot of good service if we are to subject that matter of either indiscipline or failure or contravention of the constitution if we took the issue to a departmental committee, it is interrogated, the person so affected is given opportunity for a public hearing, witnesses are called so that he has it propaganda, lies, and ethnic bigotry. Mm. Jeff, Jeff, yeah. why are you people? Why are we people? Why are we together not concerned by the fact that there is likelihood that through these lies that are being conveyed by God, there is ethnic bigotry, demagoguery, ethnic hate, 
that is likely to precipitate this country. What is that got to, to do with scenario? the tourist motion? I, 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 I'm lost. I'm lost. I, 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 I don't understand. No. But, but I think I think Kabando yeah. is, is really going around the points. But let me tell you, Kabando, mm -hmm. we will remind you. We shall remind you now, forever, in the future, that you stole our votes. We know it is past. We admit that 2013 is gone, that we wait for 2017. But don't tell us how to behave. You don't know how to behave. That's why you are paying Anglo Lisi. You don't know how to behave. That's why you are telling Wazungu to go. You don't know how to behave. That's why there's, uh, there's so much bad governance. I want to tell you, work with us. We have offered to work with you. Because it is not how much noise Midiwo makes at Urupa. It is what that's somebody that's in Moyale eats. Mm -hmm. This is what matters to Kenyan. But when you want to tell us that you can use a phone call to take 15 billion shillings from the public without the approval of the people's representatives, what are we supposed to do? Which, you, you know, and let me just tell you, you say we are in parliament together, we are one arm of government. Don't you think it is as corrupt as it gets to go to hold a PG in state house? No, it is at, not. At, at what point, at, at what point do you stop being part of state house and become a, a, an arm of another government? You see, because when this issue of Waiguru, you go discuss the state house, it is a matter before the house. You know, you know, one, you must allow separation of powers. Mm. All everything you have said so about... So you say, yeah. was that wrong? Very wrong. Was that Very wrong? wrong. Yeah. Our leader, the leader of the Jubilee Coalition, is none other than Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, deputized by William Samuel Ruto, where they want us to meet at the State House, at the current residence of the Deputy President. We shall. It is constitutional, it is legal. Which part of the Constitution is that? Eh, it's not unconstitutional. <laughs> Which part of the Constitution it's is yeah. State House open to members of Parliament? <laughs> Which part? The Constitution. You're a lawyer, man. I, I'm a yeah, lawyer, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps uh, I should explain to you now. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> if tomorrow Jacob Midiwo, like Raila Odinga, the Kalozo Musioka, mm. went to State House mm. after they were defeated and had the lunch, they are private the, citizens. Well, yes. well, they, they went. They citizens. went there uh, not as private citizens. Yeah. They went there as leaders of the Code Coalition to concede and congratulate Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. We, as members of Jubilee Coalition, shall continue meeting Uhuru Kenyatta. In his private and Again, public residences. Again, misuse of public it resources. Is I mean, the tea you drank oh. there, you should be taxed for it. And I hope KRA is watching you. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, the tea you drank there is yes. public funds. Hmm. That is how it works. They need to pay. That no. is a gift to no, you. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah, you, no, we have my question. Monsieur, are, you avoided we, my question. I have not avoided this. This impeachment motion, is it going to go through? Looks like Lintour is determined. Well, a member is entitled to determination. Yeah, but didn't you all try to talk him out of it? Is it isn't there? Well, is, is there cracks developing here. We have a responsibility as Jubilee to moderate, persuade, convince our colleagues to go one way where acrimony and enmity can be avoided. And it is also an entitlement of individual members across board, even uh, interparty coalition, to do things that are for public interest. Mm. And therefore, I don't see. And by the way, Jeff, I think when we appear on a platform like this one, we should not incite the public on petty issues. That's because petty when issue. we meet in parliamentary committee meetings, yeah. we always have those small things you call natural tea. That is not the discussion. The discussion is public policy yeah. and how we can grow this country. Is impeachment a small issue? It's a big issue. It's, a, it's an official issue. If it's a subject matter under Parliamentary. So what's the small issue? Tea. I don't know. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about no, tea on TV. I'm talking about the tea we drank. Priority of holding. The tea we drank. Is that using using the, no, he's yeah, not yeah. about improving the revenue for this country. No, but, but, but the how, how do I improve it? If, if, the if, you, if, you, if you are if you are plundering it uh, up there, yeah. I, I mean really, there is nothing like plundering. We are calling you for a dialogue. We are calling you for that. You know, you have just called me. You have just called me and my people, ethnic bigots. You, Kabandu, can you look at Kenyans in the eye and tell me you are satisfied with the, co at the, with the constitution of the security organ of this country, with the financial sector of this country? 
I look you know, I look at the eye. Let me just tell you. Let me look at the eye. I want to send you. I want to send you to your colleagues. That I want to tell you that any time there are ten onyangos where there are possible eight people, it annoys Kenyans. Please understand this. It is in the constitution. Include all Kenyans in public appointments. You cannot tell me head of CID, head of this, from one community. It just annoys Kenyans. Take them you to see? another place. You see? You see? This yeah. is the exact what I'm talking about. Yes. Jacob Midiwo and his colleagues serve in the National Assembly. He has a route he can use in the National Assembly. Which is? To go and bring a public debate or a petition or a protest through a motion in Parliament to indicate the database of the people serving in the public service or the bureaucrats. But if you want to start identifying somebody by geographical origin, this ethnic hate, this that ethnic is not prejudice ethnic hate. The has constitution, come to an end. The constitution requires but the when constitution requires when that, 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 that you, 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 you make, you put people so that we all live for coexistence. Where you have laws, there must be rendillas, there must be kikuyus, there must be all of this. And but if I, you are in heaven ministry, where are people talking their language? What do you want us so to do? So you are protesting are against who? We are calling which, a which community? dialogue. Which so community? That, huh? are you pro can you go be on record? Which community, Jacob Midiwo, on behalf of Raila Odinga, mm. are you protesting against? I am not here on behalf of Raila Odinga. Me, I'm on behalf of Uhuru Kenyatta. I am not here on behalf of Raila Odinga. I, I, I don't think I can be here on behalf of Raila Odinga after being, in pal being elected three, time, three times. Let me tell you something. If you are here on behalf of Uru Kenyatta, you are performing very poorly. <laughs> Let me tell you, in fact, you sound, the, w w w the more I hear you, the more I remember the, the, the few weeks before Mubarak fell. Hmm. Because people asked him, please, let's talk. Please, let's talk. And uh, if you, that, if that you is see the what, language. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let, yeah. No, 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 no. Let, this language, yeah. we are very convinced. At least I'm convinced. You know, first I must be very proud of my party leader and my coalition leader. And no apologies to make mm -hmm. for standing on that ground. But we are very concerned that the code coalition is, instead of talking about substantive issues, and tonight I've asked Jacob Midiwo to mention five issues they want to talk about mm -hmm. as for the national he did, dialogue. He talked about them. No, 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 yeah. no. no. He, about them. he has not talked about the five issues. Security. He is only ranting about his preoccupation <laughs> and domination with ethnic fears and prejudices. I, no, 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 and when you mention, you see, when you talk about Egypt, I thought even when the Ababa was away, he would have come with some solutions, including working with his friends in London to resolve the Mirai issue in Meru, instead of ranting about a problem which, while it could be there, they have inability to bring it to the floor of the house. And this is because we have just been this evening supporting the Mira motion on parliament, in parliament. I mean, I mean, how much more support do you need? Mm. I, I, I've just left parliament when I was coming here, talking about and telling my people to, to support this Mira thing because it, the economy of Meru depends on me. Mm. I, I mean, what else do you want us to do? Ab above that, yeah. above that, yeah? we want your Baba, your Baba. Mm to use his good offices, mm. and those people you think are very important out there, mm. who can be the heads of uh, security organs here, mm. more than Kenyans, mm. to go and uh, convince, convince uh, the prime minister, the president of those countries that you, you think they should be colonizing if, us. If, if you didn't know, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish me duo. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish me duo. You know, it will easily pass for a national argument. In 2002, the same individual said we should not remove Kivuitu. Which individuals? To, to, the individuals that are friends of Midiwo, led by Raila Odinga, and again in 2007. 07, you remember the, the, the debate? Mm. They said, don't touch Kivitu. When they lost the elections in 07, they said, Samuel Kivitu is wrong. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaac Hazan conducted an election with the total agreement of all the contestants. And even had a very colorful national debate. After they lost, they are saying, Isaac Hassan and the fellow commissioners go away. Until when shall we learn to until accept defeat? Until we get an electoral commission until, that we all have confidence until, but, but in. But you, are, are, you, know, but you, you stop compromising. You, until, you all voted yeah. those commissioners in. I mean, yes, you all yeah, 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 approved them. Let me just tell you what I did. Let me tell you what I did. I went to Naivasha. When the term of the interim electoral commission was ending, I drove myself. I got to this meeting, they themselves had said 
that in the new uh, the new commission, nobody who sat in the interim one would sit. I told them, no, we need memory. Hassan himself had signed himself out of a job. I told him the other reminded him during the national prayer Very breakfast. Good. I told him, this is what you do. But you, once you got there, a friend of his, whom he said, please let me talk to, uh, let me talk to me, help me talk to me, do you? Told him, you, where are women only on our Kora? You see, and he didn't reply because this is not a joke. The, uh, the electoral commission decides who becomes our leader. We they want should. one that we all are comfortable mm. with. It doesn't have to be Isaac. Mm. If, if, if he doesn't want to do his job, mm. somebody else will do it. But the way, there, there are uh, many Kenyans who can do that job. Yeah, yeah. You want to decide. Oh, no, wait. The IBC. Wakora, IBC. Wakora, Wakora, yeah. Wakora, that was the statement. Oh. Wakora, Nikinahawa. By the way, Wakora, Nikinahawa. Let me tell Waliba. you. Waliba. Let me tell you. Waliba, Waliba Mara, Marambili. <laughs> until, yeah, yeah, until, yeah, yeah. until, until, yeah. I'm sorry to tell Jaco this, until Raila Odinga becomes president, that's when you are going to appreciate an independent electoral commission. Which brings me to my point. Yeah. This is my point. Yeah. Will Baba until, run in 2017? Tell us. Definitely. He's running. Baba will run. For of, president. Of all these people, in my view, Baba is the best. Let me tell you, give credit where it's due. Some of these people now enjoying the trappings of this constitution. Take, for example, the deputy president. He said no to this constitution. Mm -hmm. He has no ability to implement no. it. He is uncomfortable with the constitution. That's why the implementation has stalled. Which implementation? Of, of the constitution. Can I tell you? Yeah. Recently, you, you know, recently, let me just, recently. Let me finish. Let, 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 come let, to you. let me finish. Go. So, if you put all these people and you say Kenyans want change, Kenyans voted for change in 2010. Who understands this change? Who has the memory? Who has the will? Who has the might? Look at the issues of corruption. Does Baba still have that strength? Does he still have that oh, energy? Man. Can he still go? Jeff, that, 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 man is bag, Jeff, Jeff, that man Jeff, is bagry. That man is better not being than he was 10 years ago. You are not being fair. Go ahead, Boshimua, go ahead. You know why you are not fair? No, go ahead. Because we are here talking about a Kenyan who either voted yes or no to the constitution with an entitlement in the same constitution to contest any public office through universal suffrage and so democratically elected has the trappings of power, privilege, and the mandate and obligation to implement that which is provided for by the constitution, by all the laws created by that constitution. Mm, that's very deep. Now, you see the preoccupation. Everybody is entitled to contest 2017 and beyond. Mm -hmm. And the moment we are not very much in order to be so much preoccupied with the weather Baba, who will be then Babu, <laughs> yeah, contesting and losing another election. If we are not to be proud of who we are as a country, then we are going to be devoid of the legitimate spirit mm. to do that which we are. But we, what we, do you want us I, to I, be I, proud of? Corruption? Bigotry? I think, what do you want us to be proud of? As a be, we give us room to help you so that Kenyans can be, the next generation will not have to go through the, 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 what we are going through what as a country. What we need to help. Yeah, yeah. We need to, these people and we people, the Court Coalition and we Jubilee are facilitated by public taxpayers' money. ODM, TNA, and URP are financed through the political parties fund which is a creation of the Political Parties Act, Correct. and it is in the Constitution. And that assistance of those respective parties is to empower them to have the abilities to harness the intellectual capital mm. in order to resolve the national issues. Okay. What we should be talking about yeah. is, you know, you said he said, but concretely, can we have tomorrow exact blueprint that the code coalitions want to be implemented, and if we receive that as Jubilee, mm. we are not going to hesitate to harvest that which is good. But if they are so desperate, but they are not they are so desperate. You, you see, okay, yeah. hold on. Yeah. That was the last one because we have to wind yes. up from you since you're the junior of the two. So, Moshimua, since you're the senior of the two, you get the final word. Well, let me say this we are calling for a dialogue for the sake of this country. We are not interested in going into government. We are not interested 
in bringing down the Uhuru government. Thank you. But we are interested in bringing Kenyans together. There are issues, and Jeff, only last week, you saw there were leaflets in Nandi mm -hmm. telling Kikuyus to live within one week. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you know, we need to create a national dialogue so that our people stop being angry at one another. Our people, these are, if you go to, uh, to many borders now, people are getting ready for each other's blood. And we don't want that. Mm -hmm. we, we need to bring down so that when I criticize uh, the government, it should be constructive. These issues of corruption, the issues of police reform, the issues of judicial reform, the issues of uh, bad governance, we can deal with them as. And I can tell you the answer is in accepting that we voted for a new constitution and they are, they are all taken care of in there. Mm. Yeah, yeah so, so we can do that. At the end of the day, you all are friends, aren't you? Of course. You can disagree on the floor, but you all are friends, aren't Very you? Close. We are, we are good friends. Let's see a handshake. Winner and loser, we are together. <laughs> so I'm the senior, so I'm the winner. You know that. <laughs> By the way, thank you. Are you going to tell Baba to come on the bench? I will ask Baba on your behalf to come on the bench. Please, next week. yeah, please. I will. And then I'll organize for you to get on Twitter. Yes. Asante <laughs> Zana. <laughs> Washington Jacoby Bidiwa, the MP for Gem. And Kapando Akapando, Member of Parliament for Mukrueni. Conversation is important. We know we have issues. We know we have challenges. And we know that we have to solve these challenges, not just for us, but for those who will come after us. But at the end of the day, at least we're talking. And I keep saying, as long as we're talking, it's a good thing. Because the minute we stop talking is the minute that we start fighting and we do not want to go down that slippery road. Thanks so much for joining us tomorrow night right here on JKL. It's all about Mashuja. That's right. We're talking rugby. Two brothers in particular. You know them. Humphrey Khayange, Collins Injera, right here live. Yes. And also the chairman of KRU, Mwangi there. It's going to be a great night of heroes. Ladies, get ready. You can't find guests like those or these anywhere else but right here on Kenya's television network, KTN. Thanks so much for joining us, even as it drizzles. Good night. Good luck. Be good. Thank you much, Mark. All right, thanks. Sana, sana. Yeah.